Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel today. If you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Jordan and I am so happy you're here. I make videos on beauty, health, and Jesus content, so I really hope you'll stay and subscribe. I have so many empties, it's not even funny. My little basket I have next to me is overflowing. And then I have another one right next to me that I just finished today. So, here we, here we go without the spilling oh my oh my gosh all right guys so many empties oh my gosh a majority of these empties a little bit is from july most of them are from august and then i got some from this month which is september i am just gonna start with what i finished today that cannot fit in this basket but without further ado let's get right into the video probably get like a teeny tiny bit more out of here but I'm just gonna show it in this video and then like try to use the rest up if I can if more will spray out but I had to film this video anyway so I'm just gonna show it so this is the Huda Beauty KLE Vanilla 28 guys this is one of my favorite perfumes to date I've been wearing perfume I think since like middle school or body mist since I was little, you know, you catch my drift. Throughout all the years that I've been wearing body mist and perfume, no one has ever complimented me on a perfume so much and so fast than this one. This one, almost every single time I wear this, I get compliments and that's really big for me because I can wear a really, really nice perfume. I don't hear anything from anyone, so then it makes me think, does this not mix with my body chemistry? Because that happens. This one mixes so well with my body chemistry. One of the times I was traveling recently and I was going up to the security sections, so I gave them my ticket and they checked my license. They're like, is that you? Like, do you smell like vanilla? I was like, yeah, that's me. And they're like, it smells so good. And I was like, I know. And then the first time I put it on in a Sephora, I was in a mall and I went downstairs to the Apple store and they were like, you smell really good. That vanilla smells amazing. I was like, I know. <laughs> that was only in 10 minutes of me wearing this. This bottle I've had since last August, and then I end up getting another one throughout this year, I think, but this one has been going for over a year. So that's pretty awesome. I don't know what happened to the cap. It got really gross. I think I traveled with it so much that it just kept I don't know. This is my go-to perfume. Like this is all that I wear. I have so many other perfumes. There's nothing like this one. I love that perfume. Highly recommend it. It's always sold out on Sephora because it's just that popular. It just smells that amazing. I wouldn't say it lasts like super, super long throughout the day, but sometimes I'll get like a little whiff and I'm like, oh, okay, I can still smell it. The last time I purchased it, that other bottle, I just got it on Huda Beauty's website. It worked perfectly fine. I got a little set, which was this, and then a travel size. The set was 85, which is actually the price of this one bottle, if you just buy that individually. So I thought that was a great price option. Definitely a great gift set. Stock up for the holidays, because it's amazing. I finished this one this morning. This is the Tula Skincare for Body Take Care Plus Nourish Advanced Hydration Body Moisturizer. So Samantha March recommended this in one of her videos in the spring and I cannot use the Tula skincare. They use some ingredients that I am very allergic to and it literally breaks me out in acne, hives, all that. Not so great but she started raving about this and I looked at the ingredients. There's nothing I'm allergic to in it. There is I think a tiny bit of fragrance but it says on the container that it's clean and effective but it's not overwhelming in the slightest it is the most divine fragrance next to that vanilla perfume but it is so lovely i honestly cannot explain it part of it kind of smells like strawberries but not like artificial it smells like real strawberries but then there's something else in it can't figure it out i'm sure it says that on the website and on ulta i got it at ulta truly like it makes your skin look like it's glistening i didn't notice it at first but there's definitely glitter in here and it's not like your bath and body works glitter explosion of body products 
it's not like that you really only notice it in direct sunlight but it's not noticeable right away like I have to like go up to my skin to look at it but when I put it on this morning the light was shining straight into my window onto my legs I was like Oh, I see the glitter. I don't think you would even really notice it if you were like a few feet away from me. So it's really just that direct sunlight, but sometimes you don't even see it either. Like it just depends. <laughs> I've only had this since April, but I did buy another one. So I have repurchased it. So I would recommend it. Oh my gosh. See, very empty. There's just some little product swirls in there. The product got it like a teeny bit hard. It's definitely lasted for a number of months. Really, really good. But I know that I'll probably go through the second tub very quickly because you do have to dig your fingers in there so it's a little bit easier to go through it faster. I wouldn't use this like every single day because then I started self tanning. That is a great moisturizer. It really moisturizes your skin. Next product, I have the Natural Dentist Healthy Gums anti gingivitis with 20% aloe vera. So it treats bleeding gums, it fights gingivitis, and it freshens breath. It's in peppermint twists. No alcohol, no artificial flavors or colors. This did not work for me. Usually I can tell within like the first use or first three uses if I really like a mouthwash or not. And within the first use, it did not work. I wouldn't even say that this is for sensitive teeth. I don't have super sensitive teeth, but there are some things like if something really cold hits my teeth, I'm like, whoa. I've tried so many different mouthwashes in the past couple of years. It's not even like I was really like on the hunt. I was just very curious because there's so many brands that make mouthwashes. What makes them so different? So I just had a curiosity of like what makes this one different than that one. And I just have been buying different mouthwashes and I hadn't tried this one. I got this at CVS. I would personally not recommend it if you have sensitive teeth because even though it said peppermint and there's no alcohol, there's cinnamon in here. I love cinnamon, but not in my oral care because it is so strong so spicy I can't take it like I can't even do cinnamon gum not for me <laughs> I'm just giving you a fair warning it's really strong even when I diluted it I'd like make a funny face every single time I'd use this like I was trying to almost use this twice a day because I didn't want to waste it I'm like I probably can't return it at this point not my favorite but maybe they have something else from the brand I don't know I think that was one of the first few times I've seen it some other little sample jars this is the tatcha dewy skin cream i got this in my sephora birthday gift set oh my gosh i wanted to like this so bad because everyone loves this cream and it broke my face out but it works incredible for the neck it made my neck look amazing i don't know like a couple years younger because you know we're all getting tech neck here i'm 26 almost 27 <laughs> and i noticed that i was starting to get tech neck and i was like oh gosh and this makes my neck look so hydrated oh my gosh never say never i don't know if i buy like the full size or the mini i know they're expensive i don't know if i'd buy it like just for my neck because it's one of those that's like it's so moisturizing it doesn't totally sink in I noticed that when I did put it on my face it didn't totally sink in so I had to use it at night you can use this in the morning but it just didn't like really sink into my skin I did use it during the day and then I would use it at night too and worked for that area it also really worked for my elbows I've been putting moisturizer a lot on my elbows and my neck with moisturizers that don't work for my face that's been working this works for your elbows a little multi-use product so I don't know if I'd purchase that not sure yet the Sol de Janeiro boom boom body scrub this body moisturizer my skin can actually handle a little bit like sometimes it's a little bit too much for my skin my skin just doesn't take fragrance very well anymore that was really the case with this little body scrub so I just ended up using this for my feet and it worked perfectly fine I was like you know what I don't know if they already do but if they have a foot scrub or if they make this out of a foot scrub that would be great because it worked really well for that. But as far as my body, it broke me out in hives. I do use that scent in the body mist and I put that in my gym bag. It is a great gym scent. Even though that's like a very distinct scent, everyone knows that scent, it's not overpowering and it's not, whoa, you need to like take it down five notches at the gym. It just smells really good. So I'd recommend that scent for the gym. So this just didn't work for my skin personally. I do have more like sensitive and reactive skin. I've been really noticing that some 
shampoos, conditioners, body products are making my arms break out in hives and it's really interesting. And it's very itchy. That like started happening out of nowhere. <laughs> this is the It Cosmetics Secret Sauce. They recently reformulated this, but this is the older version. I actually didn't mind the scent in it, even though I like try to not have fragrance in my body care, my skincare. This was like the one scent that I did not mind, but they did reformulate it to be a lot more clean, fragrance free, free of some other types of ingredients that they probably had in there before. Honestly, like this worked really well for my face. And then I also started using it for my neck and that is another moisturizer that works so well on my neck. This and the dewy skin one, perfect. We have some supplements here, maybe a lot. <laughs> This one I've talked about before. I will link my last empties video because I went into more of a description of this product, but it's the Osmosis Wellness Skin Defense Environmental and Hormonal Detox Dietary Supplement. There's 90 capsules. I get this on skintruth.com. This is such a great detox type of supplement. This in conjunction with Dermalogica skincare, <laughs> the two like really clear my skin. It also takes out the heavy metals out of your body. So then your pee in the morning or whenever you take, I take this at night. So then my pee, TMI, but not really because if you take this, it's going to happen. Depending on how many metals you have in your body, your pee will <laughs> turn bright or dark orange. I've seen it all with this product. It says detoxes heavy metals, xenoestrogens, don't know if I pronounce that right, pesticides, chlorine slash bleach, and food-based chemicals. You will see that. It's insane. And when I don't take this, I notice my skin starts breaking out a little bit. Even though I still use Dermalogica and that constantly clears my skin, I just notice a major difference in my skin when I'm not taking this. This is definitely a major factor of why my skin is really clear. Even like mentally, I just notice a difference too because it helps also with mental health and clarity and it just helps with so much. I'd highly recommend checking this out. I've bought it so many times. I have two of the same products. Packaging has changed on their end, but I'm still getting this package design, which actually I don't mind. I think it's cute. But it's the Cure Energy Perk Me Up Peach Tea Energizing Electrolyte Mix. So it's mostly organic, which is great. It's non-GMO, also great. Plant-based, no added sugar, vegan, gluten-free, balanced energy. You can use this at different times of the day. This is a 14 pack and they come in little stick packs. I actually have a subscription from the actual website. I originally found this on GNC, but with Cure, you can really customize your subscription. Not only like how many of these you want, your exact delivery date, and if you want to skip something. So I actually just change the delivery date on mine because I have too much right now. I usually get two of these because sometimes I'll drink this like five days a week and then maybe on the weekend, some usually on the weekend, yeah. So not like almost every day, but it helps so much and it's natural so it's not making me all jittery and feeling weird. Next to the FNX energy drink that actually just got back on the market and discontinued for a little bit and I was really sad and I actually just found three packs in back in my back stock and I was like totally mind blown because I totally thought I ran out of it but that energy drink and this one they're both so good they work so well for me I've been using these a lot they're really really good the name did change a little bit but the flavor did not Dermalogica multi-active toner oh if this is like one of your first videos that you're popping up on Okay. In my empties videos, if there are any products that I use very frequently, I purchase multiple, multiple times. I just say what it is and then I move on because I have so many other empties videos where I really describe them and I just don't want to come off repetitive in every empties video. This is the toner that I use. It's a spray toner. Amazing toner. The Sephora Makeup Setting Spray 16 hour transfer proof sweat and humidity resistant plus ginseng extract. I did use this today. This has been my go-to setting spray. I have a few others in my collection, but I keep reaching for this one. It's really, really good. It's not alcohol free, which I was a little hesitant to buy one, but I did because the other ones that I have that are alcohol free, for some reason, those were breaking me out. I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> and then I bought this one, it has alcohol in it, doesn't break me out. It's really weird, but this is a really good setting spray. I'm going through my second bottle right now. I think this is only like $10. Really, really good. Highly recommend. I have another mouthwash in here. This one I actually did really love. 
This is the Crest 3D White Brilliance Great Tasting Whitening and Clean Mint. I need to see if they sell this in the like more normal bigger size somewhere. Peroxide free and alcohol free. Multi care whitening mouthwash. A CVS I go to, they only have this size and like I went through this so fast within a month or less and I just need the bigger size. So I did buy a different mouthwash I'm trying out right now and it's pretty big and the cap is really small so it's probably going to take me a really long time to go through it. I mean, I'm going to see how I feel about that other mouthwash. I'll most likely buy this one because I really liked it. Highly recommend pretty much everything. This is a really good end piece. I really liked everything that I've tried so far. Okay, I went through a shampoo. Who goes through a shampoo? This girl. <laughs> this is a Moroccan oil moisture repair shampoo. Color save sulfate prosphate and paraben free. This shampoo does not have any fragrance, does not have anything I'm allergic to, which is great. I've noticed a lot of shampoos not only have fragrance in it, but also have nuts in it that I am allergic to. This one does not, which is great. And it has been working really well for me. And I love the way that it makes my color treated hair look and feel. Oh my gosh, guys. My hair is so much softer and smoother. It's just like, it's so shiny. I washed my hair today with it. Oh my gosh, like I can even still smell it. And I wash my hair in the morning. <laughs> like it has a really nice smell to it. And it just makes my hair look so, so beautiful. So again, highly recommend. I think I'm going through like my sex or third bottle of this at the moment. That's the only other thing. I go through these really fast. Kind of want to buy like the liter ones, but usually when I buy a liter of something, something happens. I change my mind on the product and then I'm left with like this giant container of the product that I can't use anymore. I might just do it at some point. Not right now, but I know actually I need to purchase a conditioner because I'm almost out of that one too. Conditioner. Oh my gosh. Who goes through conditioner so fast? Apparently me also. Those who are really good. This is the Bioderma Sensibio H2O Sensitive Skin Micellar Water Makeup Remover for face and eyes. I've been using this for years. Really, really good. Again, highly recommend. Here's another product that I use all the time. Dermalogic Active Moist. One of my favorite moisturizers. This works so well. It works great. Great, great, great underneath makeup. Oh my gosh, this took me a while, a long time to get through. It was so thick, so dense. It is the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream Rosy Tone for Aging Skin Surface Cell Renewal Rosy Tone Vitality Moisturizer. This was a pink moisturizer. Still smells good. So I had gotten this in an Ulta Gratis a few years ago. I was so happy because... I was like, uh, yeah, this is an expensive moisturizer. I was a little bit hesitant because their yellow skincare line breaks out my skin. I don't know what is in there, but it breaks me out, so I can't use it. But this one was rosy tone. It was made with rose ingredients, which I was also a little hesitant because my skin has not reacted the best to rose of anything. So I was a little like, we're going to give this a try. I'm really glad I got it for free. <laughs> and honestly, this worked for me overnight. Not even kidding, overnight. And it actually started clearing up my skin within two weeks. Still in conjunction with the Dermalogic, I was using that at the time too. This was a great moisturizer, but I was rushing to go through it because I knew I wasn't using it every single night at one point and I'd be like going a couple months without it. But I did eventually get through it. Like it's a deep jar. <laughs> I'm not like a big fan of rose scents either, but I was able to use this one and not have it be like overwhelming. I also use it at night. So like when I went to sleep, I wouldn't even notice it. I do recommend you use it at night because even though you can use this in the morning, it's called rosy tone for a reason because it will make your face pink. <laughs> a rosy tone. So use it if you want. I mean, I am more pale. So I think there's like a greater difference of how it looked on my skin, but maybe if you were deeper than me, you could actually pull it off. It does give like a really nice finish to your face. It's like, makes your skin look so healthy and moisturized and you're like, what did you use? It Cosmetics, amazing. That is one I would actually purchase. 
in the future. Okay, here is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Drink of H2O Hydrating Boost. It's a little teeny tiny sample. Unfortunately, this did not work for me, but I did use it on my neck. I think it worked okay on my neck. And then I started using it on my elbows. I think this was actually a little bit sticky for the elbows. <laughs> Not that people are really like buying moisturizer for the elbows, but just in case, you never know. Just a slight scent, not too bad, but yeah. Unfortunately, just it didn't work for me, but I know it's a really popular product. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this took so long to go through. This is a Trader Joe's Grapefruit and Lemon Hand Sanitizer Spray. And this is with moisturizing aloe and vitamin E. I've heard so many great things about the Trader Joe's hand sanitizer. It's a spray which makes it a lot different. It works really well but I think like I had it for so long that I was like when is this going to end? <laughs> it was not like running out. It takes a long time to go through this but overall it was a great hand sanitizer. I think my mom actually bought that one. I, didn't, I don't think I bought that. I have a lot of well, not a lot. I have a good handful of hand sanitizers I'm going through right now, so I think maybe in the future I buy it again, but I just don't need it right in this moment. This is a food item. I forgot I put this in here, but I found this at Whole Foods, and I really had to mention it because it was so good. Get Back to Human Snacking Dark Chocolate Gems in this simple version. They have different ones. They have ones with nuts, so obviously I can't eat that, but the simple one does not have nuts. Is amazing. This is vegan, organic, paleo, no refined slash cane sugar, no stevia, no sugar alcohols, no dairy, no soy lechin, no sunflower lechin. I think I'm pronouncing that wrong. I know I'm close. So you can actually use these to bake too, but it says it's a snacking gem, so I used it for snacking. They are so tiny. I actually have a bigger bag of these upstairs, and these are great because one, it's chocolate. I mean, I love chocolate, okay? But also, I know that dark chocolate is so much healthier for you. I know that deep down, I'm a milk chocolate kind of girl. It just tastes so good. Dark chocolate, on the other hand, a little bitter, a little strong. But these are actually really easy. They are a little bit more potent, but they are easier to snack on and kind of get you like more accustomed to dark chocolate, I would say. So I really like these. Why I really like these also, besides the fact that it's chocolate, <laughs> is that since working from home, most of my days, I have a lot of meetings and I don't always have the time to just go downstairs and like eat a meal so these I eat in between meetings and sometimes on a call I don't really care I'm just very polite about it of course they're like really tiny probably wouldn't even notice I was eating it to be honest but it comes with so many in here it just helps so much it doesn't like make me super full but it actually does hold me over for like a good amount of time like at least an hour 30 minutes to an hour I would say for me this is like my meeting snack if I cannot get downstairs to like grab more food I just need something quick my blood sugar is dropping that happens at random times I don't have diabetes I mentioned that in so many other videos but again sometimes it just drops and is also sometimes before a meeting and I'm like Oh great, so I just actually run downstairs to get these. Sometimes I bring them up to my room for the day and I don't like snack on it all day, but I just know it's there in case I need it. They just taste so good. I told one of my best friends about it like right away, I'm like, you need these, these are so good. <laughs> I have multiples, multiples of the Semaine Health. I have so much, because I usually just get the subscription of the two they actually have more products now but at first like this green one and this orange one were the only two products that they had and i actually just canceled my subscription i'm still an affiliate with them i think anyone can actually be like an affiliate with them i think they might give everyone a code i think don't quote me on that but i do have a code if you need it it's in my description box at all times this is great for pre-period and during period but the reason why i canceled it is because i do have a lot of back stock right now and i'm like this is just too much i'm just gonna cancel it so i can like save a little bit of money right now and use what i have because it can take a little bit to get through these even though they're mostly like 30 day supply except for no sorry the green the daily is 60 capsules orange PMS and period support that's 36 vegan capsules. They're both vegan. This has really, really helped me. Do not get that mixed up. These have helped me so much. Honestly, if someone gave me the choice of medication 
and this, I would pick this. I've already been down the medication route. Did not work for me in the slightest. It worked for me for like a very, very short amount of time. And then every single one I tried, it just didn't end up working. So I've been going the natural route. I was like, where were these when I started experiencing PMDD? These have helped PMDD so much. Like I cannot even express that through the camera. I've already talked about these in other videos, so I'm not gonna make this too long, but I don't know what it is. I know I well I kind of do I have been praying a lot for God to deliver me from PMDD I notice the more that I say oh I have this and I have this and I have this I have more problems that just come up but the less I say like oh I have this I don't have problems I mean it's kind of like a given but I think we just get so like caught up in literally emotions sometimes and our own daily struggles or problems or whatever that we just keep labeling stuff in the sense of oh I have this I have this I have that so I noticed that I was saying like oh I have PMDD like a lot and like yes I have been diagnosed with it but I can be delivered from that just like anxiety like I can be delivered from that I've been asking God a lot to deliver me from PMDD and I have noticed such a change, such a change, <laughs> that I haven't really been experiencing PMDD. What do you know? You just gotta ask God. All you have to do is ask and he will deliver. I noticed since I've been praying that, that the daily has not been working for me. <laughs> Every single time I would take that in like the recent month, I didn't totally need it some of the days, but I did some other days. And the days that I didn't really need it, it made me start having anxiety that I didn't have before I took it. So it was like, okay, maybe my body did not need that today. And then I would try it the next day and the same thing would happen. I'm like, why am I getting anxiety? Where is this coming from? And I realize it's from this, you know, like sometimes too much of a good thing can be bad. It could be that. But I still keep the PMS and period support because this actually helps with cramping and bloating. Although I did notice that when I was taking this, I had really bad cramps. So I'm like, I, I don't know. <laughs> God works in mysterious ways. I mean, I still think that these are great products and I still recommend them definitely because they got me through some rough times. If you're like really struggling with something like that, they do make your days a lot easier. But also I've been praying a lot this summer because now I actually have the time to and I know that sounds weird, but I really do have more time in my morning to read my Bible and pray and I've noticed such a big difference in my life praying more and I really do think that since I've been asking God for deliverance on anxieties and different disorders that I've been diagnosed with in the past, things have changed drastically. I don't take this daily anymore and I have noticed the biggest difference in my mood. I'll have to see with my next period if I need these products or not. I definitely have a lot of the PMS and period support. It's the daily that I don't really have much of anymore, which is totally fine. Anyway, great products, just not for me right now. Almost done, cool. This is another supplement. It is the Pure Essence Candex helps control candida yeast, supports a healthy microbiome with 80 vegan capsules. It's an enzyme supplement. So I've tried different yeast balancing supplements. I, it's kind of weird to say on YouTube <laughs> to talk about this topic, but I need to take a yeast balancing supplement every single day. If I don't, I notice a very big difference. Very, very big. This one was more expensive. I bought this at a local health food store and it was $47.69. It was so expensive compared to like what I paid for for a different one that I use that I really like. This says that it's clinically tested, it's non-GMO, vegan, gluten-free, 100% purity and potency guarantee and money back 90 day guarantee. You can take two capsules a day. It says begin to feel better in 10 days or less. Oh my gosh, that claim was so accurate. Like so I'm just like shocked. <laughs> when I actually took it for 10 days in a row, I actually stopped taking this because I felt amazing and I was like, I don't think I need this. And then there were some days where I skipped and I was like, mm, I need to take that. So I'm still going through some other ones right now that I need to finish and I'll bite the bullet and I will get this again because it was that good. I highly recommend this one. I think this is actually the best I've tried and the one I'm currently going through, I've been taking for years and it was the best I've tried thus far until I got that one. I was like, nope, that's the one. So this is the Bliss Fab Girl Firm Body Firming and Contouring Cream. I've talked about this so many times in other videos <laughs> and it is one of my favorite favorite firming creams. There's like this nice orange vitamin C scent to it. A good product from Bliss. 
It's not that expensive and it firms your skin so fast. Maybe I should just film on Saturday nights because clearly I have so much energy, although I did go to the gym a few hours ago and I did drink hot chocolate, which usually does it. The Trader Joe's hot chocolate is the best. Rayel Organic Cotton Cover Pads Overnight. I know I did not finish all these. I think I'm like almost done, but I will just say in general, the Rayel brand at Target, they have the best feminine products I have ever tried. I don't use their tampons. I don't think I like their tampons. I use the Honey Pot tampons. And those are the best organic ones that I've tried. And fragrance free ones. I've tried other ones and I'm like, nope, nothing compares to the Honey Pot. They're not like my favorite favorite, but they work the best out of all the ones that I've tried so far. And I just like keep repurchasing them. But the Rayel pads, overnight and regular and like medium Rayel, their products make your period experience so much better in a way i was like oh i'm actually looking forward to my period in the next month because i can use their pads <laughs> their products are so nice they're made of such good quality organic fragrance free everything that you would want in a feminine product they have it they're not that expensive and they always are on target circle if you don't know target circle that's their rewards program they're usually like 15 percent off of their products which is insane and they do have other products like acne treatments and heating patches acne patches some other things too i haven't tried those out i think they just came out with skincare as well but i'm like really into their pads seriously the best do not walk to target run to target but who am i kidding everyone wants to target this. two more products actually i wrote down the ulta beauty collection eucalyptus mint hand soap one of my favorite scents from ulta beauty in their hand soap line so good i'm going through another one but i think i really want to try the blue land hand soap because Jessica Brown keeps talking about it. And then I think Michelle Reed talked about it also. That would just be so much easier for me. Elder Beauty also has, I think it's called Juicy Peach for one of their hand soaps. And I want to try the foaming because I have the gel in our upstairs bathroom. We have a hand soap from Bath & Body Works. We haven't purchased anything from Bath & Body Works in a long time because it's so expensive so my mom and i have been purchasing from marshall's or ulta beauty because they're just so much cheaper and they're so effective but i noticed that the bath and body works one the foaming one has lasted for like three months and at one point when there were like eight people in the house when my family was visiting and i'm like what how like i know i used to get foaming hand soaps all the time and for like just me i thought like i went through them pretty fast but for some reason the one upstairs is still going it's almost gone it still has a good amount left and then my mom said that foaming ones actually last longer i'm intrigued to try the ulta one but i do need to take like a little break from the eucalyptus mint because even though it's my favorite scent i bought a second bottle <laughs> and i'm like getting sick slightly tired of the scent even though it's so so good it smells amazing but i'm just getting to that point i'm like gonna buy a different scent and then i'll buy that eucalyptus scent another time <laughs> just need a little break totally recommend that scent for hands up very last product this is my mom's oh my gosh all these products are mine usually have a lot of my mom's empties in here so this is the body shop chamomile gentle eye makeup remover i've also talked about this a lot in other videos maybe not a lot but like a few times this is my mom's favorite eye makeup remover it's the only one she will use so the body shop keep making it send it to my mom <laughs> Wait, oh no, there's one last one, a little perfume. I had this since 2018. <laughs> I basically finished it in 2018 or 2019, and oh, it smells so good. <laughs> it's the Atelier Cologne Mason D Parfum Paris. Wait, no, that's not what it is. Clementine California Cologne. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. <laughs> oh, this just reminds me of when I would go out senior year to the bars when I was finally like 21 and 22. <laughs> so many good memories this smells so good you need to go smell this since for it. that's where you can get it took a very long time to go through this you don't need a lot because it's quite potent if you're going out to eat definitely wash your hands after you use it it's like a deluxe sample size so you have to actually dab it onto your wrist but if you get on your hands wash your hands because a few times i've like put this on and like rub it in with my hands or tap it and then it would be on my fingers and then I would start eating bread at a restaurant and I could taste perfume. Obviously not a good experience. <laughs> and I was like, nope, 
Nope. <laughs> Just a little tip. Very good perfume. There's so many perfumes right now though that I'm still going through. Lots and lots of samples. A handful of full-size bottles. So I might actually purchase that in the future, but not right now. That is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified on all my future uploads. I hope you all enjoyed this empties video as much as I did. I have so much energy. I have so, oh my gosh, I have so much energy right now. I feel so much peace when I film. Filming and teaching and talking about products, reviewing. I know that it's in God's purpose for me and also I do have more ideas for Jesus content videos. I just haven't felt completely led to film them. I've just been trying out so many products and I'm like I need to get this out. There is one vlog that I need to edit that I filmed like a few weeks ago and that is a Jesus content video so that will be coming because I haven't actually filmed the Jesus content video before I got really sick so that will be coming soon definitely let me know of any video requests you have down below I make beauty health and Jesus content as I just mentioned but if there's anything specific that you would really like to see for me definitely let me know if you'd like to see more tutorials those don't do the best on my channel but I don't mind filming them this eye look that I did with the ABH Primrose palette my go-to palette really really nice look for fall I hope you have the best day ever I love you so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!